Shalom to everybody. Welcome to another short session of The World or The Word. This morning I would like to offer you to turn to the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. And the very name Haggai means the festive one. So this morning, the festive one has a good message for us in a time of spiritual decline and a spiritual hiding also. In chapter 2 of his book, we have the third message to Haggai, the prophet, the latter prophet. It has been now three months in the context from the start of the rebuilding of the temple the second temple for the Jewish people. And the message come because they have had basically a poor harvest for the fall and doesn't seem to stand together, the rebuilding of the temple and having at the same time a poor harvest here. And God wants to explain through Haggai and the nation also uh, as to why they got a poor crop at the fall. So he uses the law of Moses in chapter 2, verses uh, 11 to 13. God will use the Mosaic law, which was in effect basically in the time of Agai. Verse 11 goes like this. Thus says Jehovah of hosts, ask now the priests for a ruling or for a teaching here. And in verse 12, you have the first question. If a man carries holy meat in the fold of his garment and touches bread with this fold or cooked food, wine, oil, or any other food, will it become holy? And the priest answered, no. So that's the first question. The point here is that holiness is not contagious. It's not like the COVID-19. Holiness is not contagious. It cannot be transmitted from a person to a person or from object to object and so on. So it was from the priest the correct answer. Verse 13, the second question. Then Haggai said, If one who is unclean from a corpse touches any of these, will the latter become unclean? And the priest answered, it will become unclean. What's the point of the second question here in verse 13? It's about uncleanness here. What's the point? Uncleanness is contagious. That's the correct answer. Uncleanness, any kind of fear, is contagious and so on. And in verse 14, we have the most difficult part of this short message, the application. Then, hey guys said, so is this people. The Jews, of course, Israel in the context. And so is this nation before me, declares Jehovah. And so is every work of their hands and what they offer here, what they offer there rather, is unclean. Yes, this is an absolute. The Jews were the people of God and still are the people of God today. They are the covenanted nation, the wife of Jehovah, more specifically for the remnant. So as the people of God here in the context of being reluctant to build the temple, they are acting like the Gentiles. So basically the uncleanness now extends to their offering. So God does not see their offering as clean for lack of faith and so on and lack of obedience here. How about us as an application? How about us, the church, the bride of the Messiah? Do we trust in the world or we trust in his word i would like to invite you personally to answer the question i bid you shalom god bless you and thank you